Uh, talking to you about my newest acquisition, the Hungarian FEG PA-63, which is essentially a Soviet block copy of a Walter PP. Um, this was made in the Cold War and before all that, um, basically as a copy of a Walther for police carry and military sidearm. Um, it is, it's a PP. It just shoots 9x18 Makarov. Um, really, if you have any experience with a Walther PP, you kind of understand the design and you get it. For new guys um, who are thinking about getting into a, well, I don't want to say low end in the sense of cheaply made, but low end as in not five, six hundred dollar Walthers, um, this is a buy for you. Uh, currently online, these are going for 300 ish for really, really nice ones. I paid 200 private party local Seattle for this. Um, it was a gentleman's sidearm for, not a sidearm, his personal carry you know, weapon for about 10 years. Um, and he decided to sell it. And uh, luckily I got it before someone else did because that $200 buy price was, uh, hey, that was great. Um, I didn't have a chance to shoot a lot until this past weekend. Uh, I was able to put a couple hundred rounds down range. Worked flawlessly. Um, no hiccups, no jams, no stovepipes, none of the above. It just shot, and it shot very well. Once, uh, once I blew all the oil and stuff out of it, uh, I cleaned it when I bought it, put it away. Um, and once I blew all that out, it worked great. Um, but anyway, functions just like a Walther PP. It's a blowback design. Um, magazine is empty, gun is empty. I safety checked it before I started this. Uh, it is a six round capacity, I believe, on the magazine, plus one on the pipe. Uh, it is a safety decock. So, decocks on the safety. Um, double action, single action. That's fairly heavy with the hammer back. It is very light and crisp. It shoots very, very well, I will say. I'm actually very pleased with how well this shoots. Um, and that is demonstrated by these targets, which I'll show you in a moment. It is an alloy framed gun with a steel slide. Now that is cool because it is lightweight. It is a fairly lightweight all metal gun. And if you've heard me say it in the past, I'm a fan of all metal guns. Um, I'm not a giant fan of polymer guns. Uh, I always say that if all else fails, this would make a real nice set of brass knuckles versus a polymer frame gun. Um, so that all being said, it's a great gun. It's lightweight. It does have one drawback versus, say, a Makarov, uh, something a little bit bigger that's uh, ex-Soviet, whether it be a Bulgarian, Chinese, Russian Makarov, which I love shooting. I'm very accurate. Um, because of the lightweight in the frame, it stings a little bit in the hand. Um, I did notice a little bit of bite when I fired this gun. Um, not excessive, nothing that would, you know, nothing that would bother me over the course of a day. My hand didn't get, you know, my hand didn't sting or anything, but you notice it when you, when it goes boom, you feel it. Um, I have medium-sized hands that wear medium-sized gloves, and my hand fits into this very, very, very well. I'm very pleased with how it fits. I will say and caution you that if you have bigger hands, or you have a very high grip on the frame, you will probably get bitten by the by the slide. So keep that in mind if you're thinking about one of these. Um, if you have big hands or a very high grip, um, make, if you can try it before you buy it, great. Um, but just be cautioned on those things because I'm I have medium-sized hands and I'm just at the border of my hands, especially when I'm especially when I'm holding this, my, you know, the muscles and the hands and everything kind of push up against the frame. Um, if my hands were any bigger, I might run into, uh, I might run into this thing biting me, but luckily it doesn't. So it makes it enjoyable to shoot and I'm not getting chunks of skin uh, ripped out of my hand. So that all being said, here is kind of how we did. So this is uh, you can see right here it says FEG PA63 25 foot 
So I opened up shooting at the big target uh, just to get a feel for it. And I started off shooting low left as I always do. For some reason, I always start off shooting low left. And as I work into my day, um, my groups usually tighten up and move back to center. So I shot a mag or two here and then the last uh, mag when I was shooting this big square, um, I put a couple magazines right into this area. So, I mean, this is three holes here. That's three holes. That's two holes. So it started shooting very well. Um, and then this was a magazine uh, shooting rapid fire at this little square at 25 feet. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I had six in the mag, one in the pipe. Um, and it shot very well. Discount this. This is SP01 rapid fire at 25 feet, um, as was this one. Um, this was 50 feet. So here you can see, I, I circled it, but I should have circled up here. I've got a flyer up here. But I have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is at 50 feet. Um, it's respectable. If uh, I think if I spend a little bit more time shooting, I might be able to tighten this up. Um, and I wear corrective lenses when I shoot. Uh, so it is hard for me to focus. I'm not using it as an excuse. I'm just saying uh, I wear corrective lenses. My eyes are not great. So that all being said, this is respectable. I mean, this is a 3x3 three three square. So 50 feet, 3x3, three three, keeping it, uh, let's see, that is, I would say, uh, one, well, that's about a four and a half, five inch spread at 50 feet. That's pretty good. I'll take it. Um, here's, uh, here's some shots I took, slow, really, really trying. Um, that's one, two, three, four, five. That's, you know, five at that little square. You know, here's my wife shooting at 50 feet. Um, this is my father shooting it at 50 feet. So, I mean, it's, it did pretty good. Better than I expected. So, that all being said, for a couple hundred bucks for a weapon that shoots, uh, 9 by 18 Makarov ammo, which is way cheaper than anything 380 right now. 380 is going for 22 to 25 bucks a box. Makarov is going for about half of that. Um, and so when you talk about a pistol that is a copy of a high dollar German $500 pistol and shoots 9 by 18 Soviet Makarov, which is half the cost of Western 380 ammo, uh, it's a win-win. Especially if it is occasional use or carry. You shoot it a little bit, make sure you're staying proficient with it, and it's your carry pistol. I think it would be something that you'd carry for a long, long time and be perfectly happy. Um, as with anything Soviet, uh, they're fairly robust, they're pretty well built. Um, they're not works of art, they're a little crude in places, but this overall is really, really well built. I'm very, very pleased with this pistol. Um, I think it's going to serve me as a nice little carry option for years to come. Um, and I'm not generally one to get rid of things once I've gotten my hands on them. I might buy a second one that is pristine. Um, but this one as a carry weapon, uh, for 200 bucks, can't beat it. And even for 250 for one, uh, if you can find one near you, grab it up, shoot it, enjoy it. Um, I can't say a lot bad about them. Not like a Makarov in the sense where a Makarov, the parts and pieces, serve two or three functions. This isn't quite that simple, but it's well built. That's the key. So, hey, if you're thinking about a PA-63 Hungarian and you have one in mind, you know where you can get one, snatch one up, shoot it, enjoy it. And uh, if you have any questions, comments, hit me up. We'll talk to you guys later. Slop Joe out.